welcome back to game three of Rush Jeopardy. We have three more fine contestants for you. We have David, Ralph, and Alex. Uh, and without further ado, let's get to it. Uh, we have a couple quick notes for you real quick. Uh, number one, we have a buzzer off screen that I can see who buzzes in first. And number two, uh, I've done my best to make this as accurate as possible. Uh, but of course, there could be some hiccups along the way. So please forgive me. Uh, but we've done our best here. All right. So our categories today, we have album releases, set lists, album artwork, finish the lyric in literary influences. And David, how about you start us off? Okay. How about literary influences for 100? This author wrote the book Anthem and was acknowledged in the liner notes of 2112. David. Who is Ayn Rand? That is correct. And that brings it back to you, David. What did you like? Now let's stay with literary influences 200. The Shakespeare play As You Like It inspired this line referenced both in a Rush song and as the title of a live album. David. What is All the World's a Stage? Yes, it is. David. Album releases 100. Moving Pictures was released in this year, but the band celebrated its 40th anniversary during 2022. Alex. What is 1981? It is indeed. Let's stay on album releases for 200, please, Eric. This was the last album recorded and released before the live album Different Stages. David. What is Show of Hands? It is not a show of hands. Oh, the last Ralph. one. Mm. Ralph. What is Test for Echo? It is Test for Echo. We're looking for the last album, not the last live Got it. album. Got it. Uh, Ralph. Album releases 300. This was the first album Rupert Hine produced for the band. Ralph. What is Bristo? It is indeed Presto. Uh, Ralph. Ralph? Album releases 400. This album, released in the month of October, features eight songs that are all between five minutes and six and a half minutes in length. Ralph. What is Signals? It is not Signals. Mm -hmm. David. What is Power Windows? It is Power Windows, though. All of them are between five minutes and six and a half minutes long. David. Album releases 500. Unhappy with the quality of the initial sessions made by their producer, Rush moved on to produce this album entirely on their own, the only time they did so. Ralph, you were a hair early on that Ralph, one. Yeah. I apologize. Okay. But if you're the only one, we will give it to you. Ralph, what would you like? What is Rush, the debut album? It is the debut album. Ralph. Finish to Lyric 100. Bloodstained Velvet, Dirty Lace. This. See them bow their heads to die. And David, you were early, but you're also the first one after. So David, what would you like? Uh, What's your is answer? Naked Fear on Every Face. It is Naked Fear on Every Face. David? Literary Influence is 300. A fan of several of this author's works, Neil alluded to two of his books in the song Losing It. Ralph. Who is Hemingway? It is indeed Ernest, Ernest Hemingway. Ralph. Finish to lyric 200. I know it makes no difference to what you're going through. This, and I worry about you. Alex. What is, uh, no, can't put the words together. Ralph? What is, but I see the tip of the iceberg. That's it. Good job, Ralph. That's what we're looking for. Ralph, back to you. And it's still here at 300. In the dog days, this. Dogs cry for the moon, but those connections are mysterious. Ralph. What is people look to serious? They do indeed look too serious. Ralph. 
right, uh, finish the lyric 400. Pale facsimile, like what others see, this earth shine a beacon in the night. Ralph. What is when they look in my direction? That is correct. This is not fair. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> finish. You, Ralph. <laughs> Let's finish. Finish the lyric. Bet your life, rational, romantic, mystic, cynical, idealist. Bet your life, minimal, expressionist, postmodern, this. Bet your life. Ralph. What is neorealist? It is not neorealist. Mm. But you were close. The answer is neo symbolist. Okay. Neo symbolist. But Ralph, That's you still have control. Here, Ralph. <laughs> okay. Album work. Album work. Work one hundred. The cover of this album features a young boy walking along a waterway, kicking a skull. Alex. Um. Uh, what is Presto? Or excuse me. What is Roll the Bones? Oh, we'll get, you corrected it just in time. I was about to take it away from you. Yeah. <laughs> Roll the bones. Yeah, Back I you, know that one. Uh, <laughs> album artwork 200, please. A sundial, a sketch of a honeybee, and a peddler's cart are all featured in this album's interior artwork. Ralph. It is Clockwork Angels. It is indeed. Ralph. Album artwork for 300, please. This building is the setting of the scene featured on the cover of Moving Pictures. We should all know this. Yeah, we all just got our 40th anniversary box set. <laughs> and the answer uh, here is the Ontario Legislature. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dang it. Uh, Ralph. Yeah, continue with album artwork for 400. A semblance of a jaw with teeth can be made out in the top left corner of the cover of this synth era album. David. What is Grace Under Pressure? It is indeed Grace Under Pressure. Good job, David. David. Album artwork 500. The enlarged hand and forearm in Rembrandt's 1632 painting, The Anatomy Lesson of Dr. Nicholas Tulp, inspired the enlarged hand from the figure on this album cover. David. What is Presto? It is not Presto, unfortunately. Mm. And next we have Ralph. What oh. is Power Windows? It is indeed Power Windows, the other P. No, oh, did I say Presto? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph. All right, literary, literary influences 400. A drug-induced dream inspired Samuel Taylor Coleridge to write a poem that he stated was left unfinished. The poem, in turn, inspired the lyrics of this Rush song. David. What is Xanadu? It is indeed. David. Literary Influences 500. A line from Joseph Conrad's novel Victory is quoted in this song from Vapor Trails. Alex. What is One Little Victory? It is unfortunately not One Little Victory. <sighs> David. What is washed away like footprints in the rain? It is not that. We're looking for the song. Looking for the song. Song. Oh, and this song from Vapor Trail. Ralph, any thoughts? Uh, no. The song is Secret Touch. The line is Gentle Hand, Secret Touch on the Heart. Uh, was that David that had control there or Ralph? David. David. Okay, well, let's show set list some love for 100. This song with a polka style intro kicked off the encore for the Time Machine Tour. Ralph. What is the spirit of radio? It is not the spirit of radio. <sighs> David. What is limelight? And that's it's not it either. It. Limelight. Oh. Wrong tour. Alex. What is Tom Sawyer? It is not Tom Sawyer. We're looking for the encore. Spirit of Radio. Bill Estrangiato kicked off the encore. Uh, oh, kicked off the encore. 
Dang it. Uh, David. I'm too excited, not paying attention. Uh, 200 set lists. This is the only song from Power Windows that was never played live. Alex. What is After Image? It is not After Image. Uh, David. What is Emotion Detector? It is Emotion Detector, though. Good job. David. Set list 300. Neil's drum solo was during this song on All the World's Stage. Alex. What is YYZ? It is not YYZ. Uh, David. Oh, yeah. Dang it. I know. Oh, I know what it is. What is what you're doing? It is not what you're doing. <laughs> Ralph. Only one other one. What is working, man? It is working, man. Yep. Dang it. Good job. Uh, Ralph. Set list 400, please. This album contains the lowest percentage of songs that were played live. Alex. What is Caress of Steel? It is not Caress of Steel. Ralph? What is Test for Echo? It is not Test for Echo. David? What is Fly by Night? It is not Fly by Night. The answer here is Vapor Trails. Only 45% oh, wow. of the Vapor Trail songs were ever played live. Test for Echo is a close second. So. And that gives us one last clue here. According to the official Rush.com set list, this is the only song to be played in full as both a concert opener and an encore closer. David. What is 2112? It is not 2112. No. Alex. What is Tom Sawyer? Is not Tom Sawyer Ralph. What is Spirit of Radio? It's not Spirit of Radio. The correct answer here is Limelight. And then David, Dang. 2112 was both an opener and a closer, but it was not played in full as both an opener and a closer. And that's the kicker there. Right. All right. At the end of round one, we have Alex with minus 2,000, David with minus 700, and Ralph with 1,300. Not to worry, Waiting. there are plenty of points to be found in the second round. We'll be back in just a second. And welcome back, everyone. We have round two ready to kick up here in just a second. But first, let's meet our contestants. Now, Alex, I understand you have seen Rush many places. I have uh, 24 times over seven different cities mostly in Oregon, Washington, and California. Well, that's it's very impressive. I'm certainly jealous. Uh, and, and Ralph, I understand that you have some travel under your belt as well? Yes. Uh, for Getty's book signing at the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, my family and I all drove out from New Jersey to Ohio to a snowstorm to get there and see you. And that, that must have been uh, an invaluable experience. Uh, Definitely was. And, and David. But I had the support. Oh, for sure. And David, you've been a fan since 76? Yes, I was 11 years old, and my cousin turned me on to 2112, and I never looked back. Certainly not. Here we are in 2022. Almost to 2112, not quite. <laughs> Going to try to get there. <laughs> All right, let's get straight into round two. The categories we have in round two are track lists, other contributors, Potpourri, brought to you by the letter M. And this is a category where I will give you uh, a few sections of lyrics and you'll give me the song that starts with the letter M. And then finally, three second guitar solos. So Alex, you're going to have control here. What would you like? Let's go with guitar solos for 200, Eric. And this is, of course, an audio clue. David. What is subdivisions? That is correct. David, what would you like? Potpourri for 200. There is this number of songs in the Fear trilogy. David. What is four? Of course, everyone's favorite trilogy with four songs. Yeah. <laughs> David. Good question, yeah. Uh, Trackless, 200. This song is the opener for Fly By Night. David. What is Anthem? Yes, it is. Well done. 
Give me just a second here. All right, David, back to you. Track list for 400. Seven Cities of Gold holds this number track list position on Clockwork Angels. David. What is the number seven? Absolutely. David. Uh, track list, 600. Let's keep going. The Enemy Within closes side one of Grace Under Pressure. This song comes directly before it. Ralph. Red Sector A. That is correct. Ralph. Keep going. Track list, 800. The last song on Counterparts is this uplifting song. David. What is Everyday Glory? It is indeed. <laughs> and David? We have cats fighting in the background. <laughs> track list, 1,000. This is the first song on Chronicles. David. What is Finding My Way? That is correct. David? Brought to you by the letter M for 200, Eric. The Enola Gay, the rising sun, the best big stick. Ralph. What is Manhattan Project? That is correct. Ralph, you have control. Potpourri 400. Released in January of 1981, or in 1989, a show of hands draws its name from a lyric from this song. Ralph. What is Prime Mover? That is correct. Ralph? Uh, Three-second guitar solo, 400. Once again, an audio clue. Alex? What is big money? It is not big money. Ralph? Oh, what is Dreamline? Yeah. It is Dreamline. Good job, Ralph. Good. Back to you, Ralph. Uh, Potpourri 600. The name Rush was allegedly suggested by this person back in 1968. David. John Rutsey's brother? Or who is John Rutsey's brother? That's correct. Bill Rutsey, John Rutsey's brother. David. Potpourri 800. There are four sections of By Tour in the Snow Dog, and the first section is called this. Ralph. What is Toba of Hades? Any any more words you want to add to that? What is the Toba of Hades? No. Not quite. I can't quite give that to you. Any other okay. thoughts? You're almost there. It is at the Tobes of Hades. Okay. Almost. I feel bad taking that from you, but I feel like sorry. That, that's harsh. Stay rigid there. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So sorry. So sorry. All right the game <laughs> and we will continue uh who's guessing i think ralph is right yeah. or david oh, man. Ralph. Yeah, ralph has the board okay um potpourri a thousand getty wanted to add this song to the r30 set list for the european leg but the band opted against it according to setlist.fm it was their third most played live song ever ralph this closer to the heart. It is closer to the heart. Almost got added for the European leg. But Alex and Neil said no. Ralph. Three second guitar solo 600. Here we go. Ralph. What is making memories? That's absolutely correct. Very good job. Our solo is 800. Ralph. What is Red Tide? Yes, it is. Excellent. Give me guitar solo is 1,000. Ralph. What is secret touch? It is not secret touch. Mm. Alex or David? No. The answer here is Ceiling oh, Unlimited. Feedback, yes. oh, no. <laughs> Only on the 2013 remix. It is not on the original version, though. 
Dang. Ralph, back to you. Letter M, 400, please. Passionate music, powerful visions, hold your fire. Ralph. What is mission? Yes, it is. Let's try other contributors for 200. He played the Mellotron on Tears and worked with Rush in another capacity from 1975 until the end of the band's career. David, you were hair early there. We're going to have to give this one to Ralph. So is Hugh Sign? It is Hugh Sign. I was a very long hair early. <laughs> <laughs> Letter M600. From sea to shining sea, wander less to roam, road life's not so bad. Ralph. It is making memories. It is making memories. Twice. Yeah. Letter M, 800. Distant pair of eyes, turn my path homeward, mighty dragons. David. What is Madrigal? Yes, it is. David. Brought to you by the letter M, 1000, please. Usually a case brought on during childhood. Ralph. What is malignant narcissism? Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Ralph. Uh, are there contributors 400? Co-writing Closer to the Heart with Neil, he was the only person to receive lyric credit for a Rush song not named Getty, Alex, Neil, or Pi. Ralph. Who is Peter Talbot? Yes, it is. Let's go to the center. <laughs> Nicknamed Hearns, he was the longtime roadmaster and later the lighting director for the band. David. Who is Howard Ungerleiter? That is correct. David, what would you like? 800 other contributors. He was the original bassist and singer for Rush when it was formed in 1968, soon to be replaced by Getty Lee. The answer here is Jeff Jones. Oh, yes. yes. And the last clue of the second round. With a nickname of the caveman, he was the sound engineer for counterparts. Caveman. Um... The answer here is Kevin Shirley. Everyone knows the caveman, but what's his real name, right? <laughs> All right, so at the end of round two, we have Ralph in the lead with 6,100, followed by David with 4,100, Alex with minus 2,400. But not to worry, all three will be joining us for final Jeopardy here in just a second. Welcome back, everyone, to Rush Jeopardy. We have final Jeopardy here of game three. Uh, let's hop over to our screen here. We have... Uh, Alex with 1,000. We should put the names in here, shouldn't we? Alex is team three. Ralph is team two. And David is team one. So we have Alex with 1,000, Ralph with 6,100, and David with 4,100. The category is hold your fire. So go ahead and take a few seconds and write down your wager. Everyone set? Yep. All right. Once I read the clue, you'll have about 30, 45 seconds to write down your answer. Here we go. According to Neil from Hugh Syme's Art of Rush, a weatherman from Quebec's catchphrase would inspire him to write the lyrics for this song on Hold Your Fire.
and we will call it time right about there. And we will start with Alex. How much did you wager? What's your what's your question? Wagered everything? Yep. Mission. It is unfortunately not mission. The correct answer we are looking for is prime mover. Prime mover Catchphrase nice. is I set the clouds in motion. We'll go to David. How much did you wager? This hurts. Uh, the whole thing, 4,100. And your answer is? And you can read that chicken scratch. What is turn, turn the page? page. Also, Looking at the long range forecast. Not correct. And Ralph? <laughs> I had guessed high water and bet $2,012. <laughs> and that's a lot of math for me right now. Let's see. That's maybe 4,008, <laughs> I believe. Yeah. Close. So there you have it. There are uh, our results for Jeopardy Game 3. We have Ralph as the winner with 4,008. He will be joining Ryan and Ryder in Champions Jeopardy uh, in just a few days. We'll be recording that. So uh, thanks for sticking around. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoy this kind of thing. Subscribe so you can see everything new that we're posting. We hope to see you next time. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.